and welcome back to Let's Play Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. Let's get on with the rest of the game and see what is up here, shall we? And oh boy, and yeah, this is what's here, it's just this. Having a really crappy sleep schedule really messes with you badly. Anyways, let's get to pushing and pulling things, shall we? Because we need to burn these beams down. Because we can't really progress any further unless we actually do so. Where's the other one? Here it is! Grab it, Raziel! Hurry, you don't have much time in this realm. You don't have long in this world as your health coil is getting... Eh. Yeah, that's what it is. It's called the health coil in the manual. And that's another one down, and let us get over here. Now. Whew. Come on. Pull it! Yeah, one more to go. Burn it down! Burn it to the ground! To ash and cinder! Woo! Fire! <sighs> Come on. Right on this way, and with this, should burn the final support beam away, and it should, in fact, drop down the platform. And how does a how does a single piece of wood hold all that up? Seriously, that is just freaking insane insanely strong wood unless it was something like iron wood and that stuff is like hope oh, that stuff is just incredibly tough now all we need to do is just push and pull these things along and put these in the corners like so now we're just gonna have to oh come on Get it! Do, 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 do. Gotta push it along these tracks. Don't go outside the lines, Raziel. Also, you'll get bad grades for coloring. Why? Why am I talking about stuff like that? I don't know. Ooh. Now, this should be the last one, and pushing and pulling and stuff like that, and gotta readjust because can't push any further. Now, once we do all this, that should lower, and now we can, whoa, go down, down, deeper, and down, and my game is really screwing with me. Stop it! Ooh. You know what? Bye, pipe! Wow. <laughs> Stuck it right in the wall. That's some pretty good strength right there. And... Actually, no. I still need the pipe, damn it. I think. Ah, yeah. Never mind. Okay, now that time it didn't stick in the wall because once we get through here, the pipe will be pretty much useless. You'll see why. Show yourself, creature. Do you not recognize me, brother? Am I so changed? Melkaya? Yes, brother. You should have stayed where the master sent you, Raziel. You will find Nosgoth less pleasant than you remember. What has become of my clan? Answer me, little brother, or I will beat an answer from your horrid lips. Everyone is afraid, sibling. 
you awake to a world of fear. These times of change are so unsettling. Do you think I feel no revulsion for this form? Do you believe for a moment that our Lord would risk his empire upon an upstart inheritance? Enough riddles. What are you saying? You are the last to die. Oh, we'll see about that, Melkaia. And yes, we are facing up against one of the first lieutenants that we'll face in the game. Melkaia. And this guy is really simplistic. And all you need to do is just open these gates up and wham! Yeah, and you kind of want to get out of the way! Now, the thing to note about Melkaia that in order to keep his form, he actually had to skin victims and essentially graft them onto his skin. And there's actually an in-joke at Crystal Dynamics is the faces on Melkaia are actually that of in the employees. And also... Well, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I gotta be careful. And yeah, once you do that, that... That... Finally unwinds, and we need to lure him into the center of this cage. And the thing to note about Malkia is that if I can get him to show it, he actually has a special ability. And that involves. Once he does it. Yes, he can shift through bars. And the thing to note is that you can actually see him in the spectral plane, and. Did we do it? Tell me, Melkaia, where can I find Cain? The master is beyond your reach, Raziel. He makes himself known when he sees fit, not when commanded. Used to this. A ghoul, a fratricide. Elevated, Raziel, not reduced. Consuming Melkaia's soul has endowed you with a new gift. Insubstantial barriers such as these are no impediment to you in the spectral realm. Will yourself to pass through, and you shall. Ground Vamberger, anyone? Age 2 Putrefaction! Ugh, yeah, that was a pretty freaking gruesome death right there. And considering that what we just used to kill Melkaia, yeah, I wouldn't... I wouldn't see why that would not work. And yes, now that we have absorbed Melkaia's soul, we can now do this! Yes, just push forward to phase through, woo! And no longer do we have to worry about that. And... I actually do want to stay in the Spectral Realm for a bit, because really, there's nothing... that I really need to do in the Material Realm for now. And with that, we can actually... With this ability, we can actually now get some things, and I plan to get them... right now. Now, just gotta move along and gotta head on out. And also gotta find that block. And there's some burrows. Let's see, where's that? Where is it? Yeah, it's a good thing that I pulled out that metal. Where's the frickin' metal block? There it is. Ah, uh, oh, for frick's sakes, I just went the long way around. I always have a tendency of doing things the long way around. 
Well, actually, I think I do need to go to the material realm. Yeah, because, of course, being in the spectral realm, you can't manipulate objects in the spectral realm. So, there's that. Also, there's a ray of light. Ain't no ray of hope. And also, these kind of doors, we can also phase through these ones. Return to the sanctuary of the clans, Raziel. Melchiah's soul has endowed you with the means to gain entry. Beware, however. This hollow derelict is abandoned, but not uninhabited. Duly noted. Anyways, now that we have Melchiah's soul, we want to drop down here. And just get this slew out. Out of the frickin' way! Yeah, just... Buzz off. Now, there's a few things that we want to do here. And, yeah, there's these two gates that we can go through. And this is the first one that I want to go through. Because there's this thing right here. These artifacts enhance your stamina, enabling you to prolong your material manifestation. Gather five to complete the emblem. And thereby augment your strength. Yes. But that we shall actually finally have more life. But only in the material realm. The health coil in the spectral realm will always remain that. Will always remain the size that it is as you see it. Anyways, let's also go up here and find this place. Now we need to actually shift into the material realm in order to do this. And ooh, what is this? What do we do here? Well, we just do this. Yes, you push that pillar and deface this ancient site. Oh, come on. And whoop, there we go. And with that, this should be the last one. It is, because there's only three of them. And now, with that done, this should happen! Eyes opened and laser beams! And woo! Woo! What's going on? <gasps> what is this? Ooh hoo hoo! Ooh, shiny! Must get. acquired these glyphs empower you with elemental law each spell exacts a sacrifice of energy however use them sparingly and wisely yes we now have our first glyph spell well first actual glyph spell that we can that uses eldritch energy and yes here we have force and what it does is when we cast it it does this sends everything within the radius back and yeah, these are restoration points, and now that we actually have Eldritch Energy, we can actually find Eldritch Energy in the form of orbs. Oh, for you little mother. Ugh. Yeah, we can now find two variant-sized orbs of Eldritch Energy, which... Honestly, I don't use all that... I don't use the Eldritch spells or the Glyph spells all that often, but there are some good uses of, for them. And now we just want to go and head this way. There's nothing else we can do here in the Necropolis, so we might as well just get out of here. And also, I do want to search for more of those emblems. And here we are, back in this place. Yeah, and... Stupid... Slow down. Let's see, where's the portal? There's a portal! Now, the... Considering the wounds that Malkaia took when being impaled... Oof. 
No, oi! Oh, for frick's sakes, don't tell me that better not mess up with the recording. Yeah, my frickin' monitor just went out. Uh, I don't know why it just did that. I gotta... There must be some sort of settings that I've... That are put on. It's just like... Ah, son of a... <laughs> just frickin' screw you, game! Now, I actually want to go back to... Here. First of all... And I actually do want to show off a certain... Oh. Actually, you know what? No, I won't show it off just yet. But I definitely will possibly show it in the next video. And... Oh! Burp. See, I don't know if I'm doing this the right way. Ah, oh, damn it. Ugh. No, I could have just gone to the... To the one to the abyss. Frick. Ay, 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 ay. And just let us walk through this one instead. Yeah, you always return to the spectral realm if you go to the elder's chamber. Come on. Hurry up. There we go. Finally. Now, I don't exactly want to go to the... Yeah, to the clan, the sanctuary of the clans, just yet. Because I definitely want to try and find more of those. Try and want to try and find more of the, of the health power ups. Now, uh, slow down! I'm going to be so pissed that the recording freaking screwed up because of the fact is that my monitor just decided to go black and yes we want to go here and over there is if we actually look you can see the banners of Duma but we can't exactly go there too much water so instead we'll just shift to the spectral realm and just go this way And we are heading off to places we have yet to see. Now, we are in a new area. And honestly, let's see. Oh! Let's see if I can get the combat music to initiate. Come on! Yeah! And also there you get to see what the Eldritch Energy looks like. The Eldritch Energy that's dropped by enemies will eventually fade, but... That's not much of a, an issue. Especially considering I only have two points and Force only costs one. Now... Where are we, you might ask? Well, we'll see in a bit. Once I actually get to the material realm, because there's a door there, then I can't exactly do anything about that door. While in the material, in the spectral realm. And, oh! Hello! Are you going to attack me? Oh, yeah! Crap! That's not good. Yep. Vampire hunters! Ugh. Yeah, attacking that one vampire hunter was probably a bad idea. Also, here we have one with a flamethrower. Mm. Freaking hell, it's not good. Because this area, it's really... It really is more convenient when they don't attack you. But, unfortunately, I had to kill that one vampire hunter and... And also, here's a weapon, but we don't need it. Where are we? The human citadel. Its towering walls and deep moats engineered to keep Nosgoth's vampire plague at bay. Yes, we are at the human citadel, but we are gonna go into it and explore the place in the next video. So, I've been the Northern Star Dragon, and I shall see you then, and have a good one.